Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for March 2021 for the sign of Pisces. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your first oracle card. So what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Pisces. Okay, Pisces, the first card is, I have keep your commitments. So, yeah, if you think of cancelling anything or um, not something might not be working out or a path might seem blocked to you and you're kind of thinking, should I give up? The message is no, you have to stay on that track. Yeah, interesting energy there. Can also be with appointments, that kind of energy as well, a reason to keep commitments for some of you okay what do we have for pisces please angels spirits guides message for pisces what does pisces need to hear for march okay so we have ground yourself being distracted unfocused tired irritated and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded now is the time to become Time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and to reconnect with the divine source. Very nice energy. This is about grounding. I mean, grounding is also practical things, finding your roots, surrounding yourself by people who reinforce stability in your life, not those who don't, you know, it's that kind of energy. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides message for Pisces. Interesting, we have number 19, Guardian. So you're being protected here. Guard your energy. Guard your energy. And again, lower vibrational forces. Watch out for those. Protect themselves from you. Protect yourself from those. Okay, final Archangel message. What do we have, please? Angels, spirits, guides for Pisces. Okay, yeah, you are being protected. We have dear, trust in the support of the universe, Archangels Michael and Faith. Okay, lovely energy there, Pisces. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is the message from Spirit. The second card is what the message pertains to. And then the final card is final words or actions. Um, remember, these are just Spirit messages. Okay, so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides, message for Pisces for March 2021. What do we have for Pisces? First card is out, so... Two of Cups is the message from Spirit. Very nice energy. What it pertains to, we have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Page of Cups here, Pisces. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have the Tower. Okay. Let's start with this tower moment, you know, <laughs> because the tower is always a big energy. It's also major arcana energy. So a major arcana are the big influences in our lives. <clears throat> so the tower is a card. I mean, you can see the universe sends some kind of lightning bolt to test the strength of this tower. And it comes crumbling down because it wasn't built to stand the test of time. Uh, there was weakness found in the structure because it wasn't built on solid foundations. And it, it's also an energy if it's time for this tower to come down. It can be linked with truth, revelation. Um, yeah, so for some of you, it feels that, I mean, we build many towers in our lives. Towers can be across our life. They can be specific life areas career, finance, love, romance, relationships, family, health, call it what you will. For some of you, it feels that you have had some kind of tower moment or you've been dealing with some kind of tower moment, deep change in your circumstances. So the message from spirit here, Pisces, 
is the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is attraction, a bond between two people. Uh, I mean, it feels to do with love, romance, relationships here where there has been some challenges. The message, interestingly enough, keep your commitments is an interesting one. Guard your energy, ground yourself. And it's to do, and I'm definitely feeling some kind of love, romance, relationship. I mean, essentially, the two of cups is to do with a bond between two people. So, yes, this can be to do with partnerships, creative partnerships, friendships, you know, that kind of energy. So that could resonate for you as well. But for me, it feels to do with some kind of relationship here. And the message from spirit is I'm definitely getting some kind of reconciliation energy. This is an exchange, an expression, an exchange, an expression between two people who have a strong bond. And the two is early stages of the beginnings of something new. It feels like you've gone through some tower moment here in a relationship, but there is an opportunity to, to get back on track and it feels to do with a relationship. Because the eight of the eight of cups, I mean, yes, this can be a new relationship here, Pisces, but I'm definitely feeling, I mean, you know, this eight of cups, what this pertains to, you know, it's it's the bond is 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 here and it's to do with um having maybe walked away or been disappointed in some way, shape or form. Something has really disappointed you in a relationship to the point where you wanted to walk away, leave somebody behind. And the Eight of Cups moves towards the Nine of Cups, the hopes, dreams and wishes, the heart's desire. You can see with the Eight of Cups, there's a missing cup. It's one less than the Nine of Cups. And what are you walking towards? You're walking to the Page of Cups, which is this, finding the Ninth Cup again. But I'm definitely getting this energy of an apology, uh, a peace offering, someone saying sorry, sorry with gifts, you know, it's that kind of energy. And I feel it's there is some kind of re-establishment of a bond here between two people. It feels like someone's saying sorry. So let me grab a deck, one second. I don't normally clarify these read readings. Um, but let's, let's clarify the Page of Cups. Let's clarify the Page of Cups, please. Let's clarify the Page of Cups, please. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, an opportunity to get back on track. You know, there's definitely an energy. I mean, you know, Pisces, it's either you getting back on track. And again, I've got the Eight of Cups again. Uh, again, stress, anxiety, worry, but finally getting back on track, you know. It feels like someone's offering you some kind of apology. The Knight of Pentacles can be a healing energy as well. I mean, it's either you getting back on track can potentially be new love, but I'm definitely getting this energy of some kind of reconciliation. Yeah, I've got the tower again. Let's, um, I'm going to clarify this two of cups. Let's clarify the two of cups. We'll send a sign anyway to say what this two of cups is. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I get it. Yeah, coming through the other side of situation, a committed relationship, happy home. So the re-establishment of that, I'm definitely getting that energy, Pisces. So it, it feels that you're going to come through the other side of a situation and there's a reconciliation on the cards, healing, getting back on track, having gone through some difficult energy, you know, difficult challenge, um, some kind of disappointment that really was difficult to get your head around. And maybe you walked away for a period of time or there was some disappointment that you dealt with. But there's definitely an energy of some reconciliation on the cards. So it feels very beautiful. 
So I hope, oh, I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces. It's interesting that keep commitments, keep your commitments. That is an interesting card. It gives a whole new meaning to this reading. So we have take control of the situation. We know that you can do this. Number three. Yeah. And three is a card of manifestation. So uh, I really like the energy here. You have the ability to take control of it and come through the other side of it. And it feels like together as a unit, as a couple, relationship, family, um, you will be, you will conquer the, this tower energy and come through the other side of it. And again, we have the four corners there of stability, security, safety once more, finding the foundation of the relationship once more. So it, it feels very beautiful, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.